Time now for our Life and Info segment where we focus on information useful for your everyday life. It is Thursday, so we're going to focus on some culture today, as we like to do, and to introduce some cultural events uh, you might want to check out. I'm happy to say we have our Yi Sun in the studio. Min Sun, what do you have for us today? Hi, Mark. Today I'm going to tell you about a classical music performance that will be fun to watch and listen to. Next week, the National Korean National Opera presents The Tales of Hoffman, an opera by the French-German composer Zach Offenbach. In fact, it's Offenbach's only opera, but it's a much-loved classic. And this is the 200th anniversary of the composer's birth. They are putting it on at Seoul Arts Center from October 24th to 27th. Now, The Tales of Hoffman is based on three short stories by the writer E.T.A. Hoffman, who in the opera is inserted into his own stories. This is considered a masterpiece of 19th century French Romanticism. Okay, so it's only going to be uh, on a four-day run here in Seoul, but what's so special about this opera, The Tales of, of Hoffman? Um, it's composed in a typical French romantic style. The Tales of Hoffman brings together the spectacle of grand opera, elements of fantasy and romance, and the satire and wit of the operati. The protagonist Hoffman tells three love stories in dreamlike or even surreal settings, where a kind of evil interrupts his love. This production is directed by Vincent Bossard from France, and the orchestra is conducted by Sebastian Lang Lessing from Germany. Interestingly, opera directors and conductors get to make their own versions of this work with different visuals and even different endings. They explain why that is and what they think this work represents. The Tales of Hoffman has wide possibility for stage directing and music conducting because the composer died before completing the opera. This is a piece by a composer who actually wrote operatic comedy or operettas as we call it in Viennese um, and writing at the end of his life a series a very serious opera is very significant. Um, he, I think, for him, it's like his own requiem and his own beliefs, uh, what it means to be an artist. Well, it sounds like it's going to be worth checking out, and I'm sure it's going to be very popular indeed with local audiences. Uh, you mentioned before, though, Min Sun, that this particular opera has three different love stories in it. That's right. It's interesting because Hoffman is the main character and the narrator. As a poet, he tells love stories from his past, and then when those stories play out on the stage, he joins as part of the story. It's important to know this because switching back and forth might be confusing, but the director does it in an interesting way. The singer who plays Hoffman explained his role like this. From the first to the fifth act, Hoffman's character goes on journey of love and rebirth as an artist. I try to show every detail as he grows and develops as a person, and the frustrations that crush him as an artist. I'm trying to make it easier for audiences to understand when I switch between who the character is in the present and who he was in the past. Now, aside from the main character, all the other singers play multiple roles, including Hoffman's lover. For example, there are four women characters in the story, all played by one singer. It's exciting for audiences because these roles require a big vocal range, which is another reason opera singers say the tales of Hoffman is a challenge. It's one of the most uh, difficult thing to accept in, yeah, in the whole opera repertoire, I think. Um, the whole uh, four roles in uh, Hoffman. Why? Because technically it demands um, a high concentration um, physically and psychologically. Right. So we have to discover ourselves in order to bring that on the, on the stage and to switch in a very, very, sh very short time from one character to another. 
The opera is performed in French with Korean and English subtitles, and it runs for three hours with two intermissions. Okay, it sounds very interesting indeed. So uh, search for the Tales of Hoffman Soul if you want to try and get your hands on a ticket. I'm sure <laughs> uh, lots of have already been sold already, but thank you for introducing us uh, to that opera today. Min Sun, it's always a pleasure having you. Uh, have a good day. And uh, now we are going to take a quick look at some other cultural events coming up here in South Korea. Thank you.